Top 10 phones of 2015 In 2015 we've seen many great phones, but some of them do stand out. Here's my list of some of the best phones in the year 2015. At number 1 is Samsung Galaxy S6 Active. Samsung made a lot of great phones this year. Uh, they made several versions of their popular S6 series and uh, S6 Active really stands out. Not by the looks, don't get me wrong. Uh, the standard S6 is pretty, but it does have a few issues, so to speak. Uh, the battery life is really poor and it's just too damn slippery. And that's where S6 Active comes into play. Not only is the 6S Active more bulky and more robust, but it has a really big battery, 3500 mAh hours. Alongside the battery you get all of the other features of the normal S6, like an octa-core CPU, a beautiful 16 megapixel camera, a beautiful 5.1 inch display, and pretty much everything that the uh, standard S6 has. At number 2 on our list is the iPhone 6S Plus. Of course, this list would not be complete without an iDevice on it, so here's where the iPhone 6S Plus comes. The phone has a beautiful 5.5 inch display, a 12 megapixel camera, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a humble dual core 1.84 gigahertz CPU. But don't let that small clock speed fool you. This phone is stupid fast. And of course with a big phone you get a big battery, 2750 mAh. The S series introduces 3D touch or force touch or whatever. What it basically does is, if you push the screen harder, you'll get more options on the screen. Number 3 on our list is the Nexus 6P. As the successor of the previous Nexus phone made by Motorola, the 6P continues the tradition of being relatively cheap, deliver pure stock Android experience and being super fast. This year, uh, two new Nexus devices have been revealed, the Nexus 5X made by LG and the Nexus 6P made by Huawei. And I do have to say that Huawei nailed it with the 6P. First of all, the phone is quite big, has a 5.7 inch AMOLED display with a crispy resolution of 1440x2500. Under the hood is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 paired with 3GB of RAM. And like the previous phone, has a not removable 3450 mAh battery. Number 4 on our list is Blackberry Priv. Blackberry was struggling quite a lot in the past few months, but the Priv changed that. The first thing you will notice is a really awesome 5.4 inch display with a resolution of 1440 x 2560. But if you slide the screen up, you will be presented with a physical keyboard. And the keyboard is really good, you can type really well on that tiny little keyboard. But what's even better is that you can use the keyboard as a touchpad, a trackpad, so the same way you can use it on your laptop. And that's really cool, you can use it for stuff like scrolling. And other than the keyboard, the Proof does many things right. It's fast, has 3GB of RAM, a really good 18 megapixel camera. 3410 million powers for battery and etc etc. The Priv is a really awesome phone that you should consider buying and it's also worth to mention that the Priv del delivers almost stock Android experience. Number 5 on our list is LG V10. No, that does not mean that the phone is powered by V10 engine, although that would be awesome. The LG V10 has the same internals as the LG G4 but with an extra feature. Uh, and that extra feature is a really awesome secondary display. The main display is 5.7 inches big, but on the top you have a secondary display with a resolution of 160 by 1040. The secondary display has multiple functions, for example, you can put your app shortcuts on the top, or when the phone is sleeping you will get notifications there, or battery percentage, weather information. And the V10 has all the specs you would expect from a flagship. One thing this phone has, and the previously mentioned phones don't have, is a removable battery and expandable storage, which is awesome. Number 6. Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. If you were to get this phone, the first thing you will probably do is brag to your friends how your phone has a 4K display with a crazy PPI of 806. But trust me. It's not as crazy as it sounds. I'm not saying it's bad, no, but the human eye can't really take advantage of that resolution on a small phone. And most of the time, it's off. 4K is just off most of the time. 4K is enabled only while viewing media, videos and pictures. 
and during normal use the screen resolution is set to 1080p, which is not bad. Other than the screen, the phone has all the features you would expect from a high-end phone, with a beautiful design. Number 7 on our list is the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL. Love it or hate it, the 950 XL is a monster of phone. To kick things off, it also has 8 cores like the Samsung Galaxy S6. It also has 3GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, which is upgradable to 200GB. The screen is also beautiful, 5.7 inches with a resolution of 1440 by 2650. But this phone does have a feature that makes it stand out from the crowd, Microsoft Continuum. Here's how it works. Connect your phone to the Continuum, then connect the Continuum to a monitor to an external display. And boom, you have a PC-like experience powered by your phone. Uh, what can you do with it? Well, you can do some basic office stuff like Word, PowerPoint, text cells and basic stuff. But while doing so, you can use your phone like, like you would regularly. You can also connect a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard if you'd like and you can also use the phone as a trackpad. One thing to mention though is that it is a bit pricey. Number 8. Motorola Moto X Pure. I won't be repeating myself, the phone has almost the same internals as the previously mentioned phone Snapdragon 808, 3GB RAM, etc. But the standard feature is the bang for the buck ratio. The phone costs just under $400, for that you will get all the previously mentioned specs alongside a 4K capable camera, 3000mAh battery and Motorola quality. And let's not forget the near stock Android experience. Number 9 on our list is Asus Zenfone 2. This Intel powered humble bundle is a great little phone. For just $300, you get an Intel chip clocked at 2.3 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, and 64 GB of internal storage. Oh, and add PowerVR G6430 graphics, which is basically a lower class of the same graphics you get in the iPhone 6. With all this, you get a 5.5 inch full HD display and a decent 30 megapixel camera. You can get the cheaper version for $199, but you only get 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. If you can, go for the $300 version. Last on our list is Blue Studio Energy 2. Ok, so raise your hand if you heard about Blue smartphones at all. Y yeah, I haven't seen many of you. Just to get things straight, this phone is not a monster in performance. It has humble specs. 1.3 GHz quad-core CPU, a gig and a half of RAM, 720p 5-inch display, stuff like that. But the phone has one secret, a massive 5000 mAh battery to play with. 5000 mAh of pure power! You can even charge other phones using this phone, of course, with a cable. How crazy is that? 5000 mAh! And the phone is not even expensive. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tell me in the comments what you, what you think about this video. I know my voice is not really good. <laughs> Please excuse me. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I had some fun making this video. And tell me what do you think. Should I make more videos like this? Tell me in the comments below. So yeah, happy new year to you all. And I'll be seeing you. Peace.